Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Ark Aberration. Doing a little bit of prep work today to get ready for the boss fight with Rockwell. We're kind of in the middle of breeding and hatching all of our Megalosauruses. So I figured I'd bring you along, show you what I usually do. I usually do it off camera, but figure why not do this one today since it's kind of, kind of right in the middle of it. So he's got 30 seconds left till we get another egg from her. I've only got two eggs so far, and then I have two of the babies that I hatched a while ago. Whenever I hatched the one that I kept, I got triplets, I think it was. So I went ahead and crowd potted them to save them for this. So the thing is, well, the thing is I'm thirsty. The thing is I have my time set to where everything goes kind of fast. So let's go ahead and start getting some of the eggs out to hatch. As you can see, the incubation time is extremely low. Like I said, I can't just have it on regular rates for recording. But anyways, that'll make everything go kind of fast today. I'm going to aim for between 10 and 15. And right now, I'm picking them up whenever they're about 3 seconds left. That way, when I go throw them out, it's not that much time left. Let's head down and grab a little bit of water real quick. While we're here. And while we got a second before that next egg comes out. Is my life pet on? Ah, there we go. Cool, we need a little bit of extra meat anyways, I think. Oh, there's a berry. Dude, we haven't tamed a berry yet. I don't want to get dazed by him either. So let's jump off and just grab our water real quick. We got other stuff to do today, man. We'll play with the berry later. I totally forgot they did that. I couldn't remember how to, and that makes it so much easier when you're going in between cliffs, like in the last video where I could have used it to get up higher uh, a lot easier, but whatever. So we'll get up here. I'll throw the two out that I have in crowd pods, and we'll get those two going. I think it's around five minute intervals. We're gonna leave him up top here, just so he's out of the way. All right, man, you just hang tight there, okay? Keep everything safe. And then we'll get the eggs out after we get these two guys going. So let's throw them out right here. Got to remember about the cryo sickness. Oh, dude, he's about to get launched. Need to throw some meat in him. And you got six minutes. So he should be fine there. He should be uh, using the feeding trough here soon, too. There's another egg right on cue. I think you got like two minutes, right? Four minutes. Okay, cool. That'll give us time to get some eggs out and get those going. Let's grab some meat out of here as well. I also need to go through and make all the saddles. Like I said, I'm not too sure if we're going to do 10 or 15. Let's get this egg down, and we'll probably let this one just go ahead and hatch. So let's face it this way. That way we got a little bit more room. I'm hoping none of them go running off like usually happens. I might need to put another ceiling or two out that way just to protect stuff. We'll see how this one pops out. How are you doing? Plenty of fertilizer. Oh, you got 10 of the flashbangs. Okay, okay, okay. We'll keep those in there just for later. Water looks pretty good too. And there's our another one. Throw some food into you. Change your follow distance. And we're going to see what happens with imprinting on these. I don't know. Sometimes it goes really easy. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't have a lot of stuff because I haven't done any, like, farming and, and whatnot. So we don't have any, like, prime fish meat or stuff like that. So anything weird, we're not going to be able to give these guys. Let's go ahead and get another one out. I like to do quite a few at a time because then it kind of keeps me busy in between the wait intervals. Oh, we got twins again. Nice. That makes it go so much easier. And we'll check them for our mutations here in a minute, too. Let's get some food into them so nobody goes dying, starving to death. We'll pull them away one at a time. I need to make sure they don't get stuck into the roof as well. Only want one, man. Let's 
Well, there's four of them at least. Oh, dude. Did I hit the wrong button? Everybody hang tight, man. <laughs> We're all good. All right, let's get him up here. Then we'll check for mutations. I don't think any is going to have any. They all look normal. Which kind of sucks, but it'd be nice to get a mutation in, like, health or damage. So nothing on you. Nothing on you. Or you. Or you. Oh, well. It happens sometimes, man. It happens most of the time, actually. And then 6,800. And 385. Oh, wow. That one's got really low health. So this one's a dud, man. That one's got really, really bad health. I'm going to keep it. It's, you know, it's not that hard on single player with the boss fights. So I'm not too worried about packing the stats too too high not on the gamma at least of course watch now that i'm saying that it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be really bad i'm gonna lose everybody let's grab a little bit more meat i tell you what let's go ahead we got a couple seconds what's that one two three four let's hatch this other one and that'll be five that'll be almost halfway there like i said i don't know if i'm gonna do either 10 or 15 Does that one got a stripe on its belly? It does it. It's the way it looks. And how are your stats? They're, oh, wait. Ooh, that one's got better damage. That one's 378. Nice. And it's not mutated either. Dude, that's like a really good one. All right, come over here with your brothers and sisters, man. And I actually got one more to throw out since my cryo sickness timer has gone away. Ah, right, you should be good there. You got one minute left. Let's go ahead and throw this other one out. Get a little crowded up here. Oh, dude, he got launched. Nice, so everybody should be set. And you don't have any mutations either, right? You don't. Didn't think you would. We got enough meat. All right, cool. They should all be on the feeding trough here soon. Let's check her timer. Oh, they're mating now. Okay, cool. So that means another egg will be ready here in a second. So it's at six. That'll be seven. We should be just about ready here to see what we can do for imprints. Let's grab some jerky and stuff out of the cabinet. Oh, wait. Do I have any? Oh, I haven't been making jerky. No! Dude, I totally forgot about making jerky. Watch, that's going to be the one thing they want. And I think it's only one imprint I get on these each. Speaking of that, we need to head back up top real quick. We'll let that run. I don't think I have any berries or anything in here either, do I? Oh, man. So unprepared. All right, cool. Let's see what you got, man. Please be like a walk. Basic kibble, sorry, you are done. We can't do anything else with you. Oh, that sucks. No kibble at all, and we got quite a few minutes left on these. Well, let's go ahead and pull him over here, get him out of the floor, because they will get stuck. Oh, man, kind of like he is now. Dang it, I let him sit too long. Try to come this way, buddy. Yeah, oh, there we go, cool. Got to move them around a little bit, man, when they're on ceilings or foundations. They still get stuck in them. That's why we'll pull him up here just on top of the mountain a little bit. Can you get up here? A little bit more? What's your follow distance on? Oh, that's why. Alright, cool. So that's done. Let's grab this other egg. Do I tell you what? Those tails, man. All over the place. We have any yellow berries? We do. Let's take some of those too, just in case. 
double check these guys, and then we'll start making some of the saddles. So three minutes. No, oh, three seconds. Here we go. A walk? We can do that. I need to get you out of the floor anyways. All right, dude, let's go back up this way now. Dude, you said a walk, man. Oh, there are four. Four imprints on each one. So that's the one that had the lower health and everything. So that went up a little bit, and damage went up a good bit. That's not bad. Movement speed went up, too. Awesome, awesome. Who else is ready? You're about ready. You're about ready. They're all about ready. But that was a drop down there. Nope. Nothing for you, man. You want kibble. Let's bring you over this way, get you out of the floor. Ah, oh, let's check this one real quick. You want kibble too, so we can't do that. See, that's the only thing that sucks about doing everything like this. I usually try to get farming going and stuff before I do any type of breeding so I can get full imprints. But it is all good. We'll just take in extra ones. <laughs> we'll, we'll replace the potential stats with just extra teams. So you got two minutes and you got a minute and a half. Cool. That'll give us time to shuttle some of this stuff out of here because I need to uh, put it all in the smithy to make our stuff. Dude, we got so much junk in here. Tell you what, let's repair it. And then we'll just store it all. It's kind of like a maintenance day, man. Hope you guys don't mind. It happens sometimes. And all of these, I need that one. But all these 100% ones, we don't need anymore since we got that really good blueprint. And I got one on me. I don't really need to keep a second one. Oh, I just picked it all up. There we go. And what else is it for the saddles? Megalosaurus, not the other one. All right, so we need... So just some fiber and hide. I might actually have to go on a hide run, too. Check on little dude up here. They're still good. And they're feeding off the feeding trough now, which is fantastic. Dude, really, I can't hold a whole stack? Got too much junk on me, man. Need to up my weight a little bit. Yeah, we're going to end up putting that other Ravager down. He's he's just bugged, man. Oh, wait, it went away. Dude, that took like forever. Nice. I was getting <laughs> I was getting ready to put him down, man. He was bugged with it kept saying that he was knocked out even though he wasn't. So let's see. Oh, we can make 8. Holy crap. We're going to have plenty. Yeah, make sure I don't make the wrong one again like I did whenever we were trying to tame that one. All right, dude, what you want, man? See, prime meat. I knew it. Oh, well. That's going to be another one. We're going to go into this with no imprints, man. That kind of sucks. Yep. All right, well, all these guys are done. We had one in there that we got an imprint on, right? The guy we wanted to take for a walk. And where is he? He's this one. We'll keep him separate up here. Come back down here, buddy. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I got a couple eggs on me. How long have we got to the next one? 44 seconds. I like it. The hard part is, is getting all of their XP up afterwards. Which is so much stuff around here. We'll just take them on a long run. Or I'll just take them on a long run. Okay, well, let's throw them both out. Get them both going at the same time.
Make sure they're all on the feeding trough, which they are. Fantastic. I still gotta look up where we take all these guys to, man. To do Rockwell. I don't know where the terminal is. Ooh, those are some bad stats on you. Same with you. What's going on with that? Damage is a little bit more. Oh, got a mutation. I don't know what it's going to be for, though. Watch it be like oxygen or food. <laughs> That's the way it goes sometimes, man. Yeah, he's a different color. Oh, he's got a little bit of purple on his tail. You see it? Kind of hard to see. Interesting. All right, you got food. And you got food. Let's change your follow distance. And same with you. There we go. Just want one of you, man. Just one. Come over here, dude. Bring this one, too. So the stat should still turn out pretty well. I think what I'm going to aim for is... Actually, I can tell you what. They're going to have all the same stats as mine that I have down here. I'm using the one that I was riding for breeding. Which is... The female one. So we'll probably aim for this. Right at 40,000 on the health and around 1,100 on all our damage. And this one is max level, so it won't go up anymore. So... That'll be our stats that we use when we take into Rockwell. Well, they're going to be a little bit less because that one's fully imprinted. I think she only wanted, like, cuddles and walks and stuff. Let's go ahead and get these saddles. I like putting the saddles in their inventory. Even though they're not ready, that way I know how many I got left. Dude, we're dehydrated again, man. Holy crap. Alright, so you got a saddle. And you got a saddle. Tell you what, give me that food back, man. You're on a feeding trough. Need to paint these guys so they're not all the same color. There we go. So we got 50% on this one so far. So that's not too bad. Too bad. We're getting some stats up. Health isn't really going up much. Damages, though. And movement speed. And you little guys got a few minutes still. I right, suppose so eight there. Do we have any more eggs? We don't. Earthquake right on cue, like usual one and a half minutes left, roughly. Let's get up here and throw this egg out. Dude's killing me, man. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to wait for it to earthquake to go away. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the last couple out. I think I'm gonna aim for 12. It's kind of in between what I usually do. 10 or 15. So I will do that and then we'll come back and let you see the little army before we go. And then in the next video... We will be attempting to take on Rockwell. And I did look online. It's only these three artifacts. We don't have any extra parts that we need for this boss battle. I thought there'd be something like the Drake feathers, but those are used in the, I think, the beta. And the the alpha's going to be hard, man. we got to take out some alpha crabs, alpha basilisk, which I didn't even know that was a thing. So we'll see you back in a bit when these guys are almost fully raised. All right, so we got most of them are starting to get to where they're adults now. So what I'm going to do <gasps> is not run off the edge of... <laughs> almost ran off the edge. Uh, I'm going to go over here, not over there. We're going to start lining them up here. Because I wanted to take them out one by one and get them all kind of leveled up. Boost the uh, experience gain and stuff like that and get them leveled. So he's good to go. I have a couple of them that have like one imprint, but then you got some like this that are, uh, that's one of my mutated ones. I'll probably 
I'll have to see how many eggs I get. I might end up keeping the mutated ones to play with. I don't know if I'm going to do mutations too much on this map. But we'll have to, we'll have to see. The main thing is getting all these guys ready for Rockwell. And I'm guessing we can use Drakes. Rock Drakes. So we'll probably use those in the Beta and the Alpha. I'm guessing. Possibly. I don't know. I think I have enough. I just had to go down and do a little bit of a hide run because I'm out. I was missing, I think, three or four saddles. Yeah, I'm still going to need to get some more. I think that gives me 12 total. I'm still going to be... I think I'm going to get to take 15 in. Since I didn't get any imprints on these, really, I should really go ahead and take 15 in. Give us the best chance to, uh... To do this in a <laughs> on the first try and not have to do it again because dude getting all of the stuff leveled up and hatched it just takes so long oh my gosh and these guys over here should be ready this is perfect man the width of it I'm glad I end up doing too wide is that a drop down there oh it's just a, that rope man it gets me every time I keep thinking there's a drop down there I need to get the bear out of here. I need to make a whole bunch more cryopods sometime between now and the next video. That way I can get all these guys in cryopods. I'm guessing that there's a terminal down in the red zone where I'm going to have to take all these guys to. Which is something else that takes a long time because then you have to wait for the cryo sickness to go away. Nice, man. It should be a pretty good army, though. All Megalosauruses. But, we're gonna go ahead and leave this one here. I'm gonna finish. All I got left to do is take all these guys over. These two newborns down here still have a potential to get imprints. I think he was just a cuddle. So we at least got one on him. So that's not too bad, which helped out his damage a little bit. And his health. And this one, we'll see what he needs. He's only got a couple seconds left. Hopefully it's something I can do. Yep, another cuddle. Awesome. We need to move you so you don't get stuck in the floor. Gonna go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video, even though it wasn't too much today. Just some messing around base. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.